guys and welcome. We're going straight into our second episode of our, of our PSV Eindhoven career. And straight away I'm just going to show you the table. We're third at the moment. Two wins and a draw. Not doing too bad. Um, too many draws. I wanted three wins out of three, but what can you do? <laughs> our first game up against SC Cambrou. As you can see the team there. And you know it was it was an alright game there. We have an injury straight away, three minutes into the game. I think it was Narsang, the Hijad, our uh, brilliant centre mid, hits the bar there, very close indeed. Yeah, so Na Narsang didn't last long. And then this guy here, what a finish by Lacedo. <gasps> oh, I didn't know who he was when I first took over at PSV, but. I'm um, at this moment in point, I'm not too sure whether to play Bat Stewie or Lacedo because he's he's got a bit of composure for him. He's only twenty two I think. Look at that for a finish. One nil up. And there, that was a score at half time. It wasn't the best of games. I had one shot on target and the it went in. Um, I was playing the young Jack Dyer there and as you could you uh, as you will see here, Lacedo here again a little ball there by Dyer and a first time shot from Bacali. Brilliant goal. And Dyer gets his first assist at the age of 16. Not too bad indeed. Yeah, there's a good bit of play here. <clears throat> um, my throat is just all over the place. Don't know what is going on. Um, here's Baycard to Macpin. It was a good save and it just falls right back to him. And it's one of them goals that just really piss you off, I didn't even want to watch the replay because it was just so annoying but here we hit them on the counter, here's Bacali coming through he goes near post, finesse, beautiful finish and we retake our two goal lead, 3-1 up half an hour left in the game and yeah, well, I just needed that bit of secure, we needed the third goal because no if for anything can happen and not long after that, they came very close to bringing it back to 3-2. But after that, I thought, fuck this, so I'm going to make some subs. <clears throat> I took the Seder off and brought on Bat Stewie. Took off the Ryan, brought on... No, I didn't. I took off Wreckage and brought on Bruma. None of those out of subs because of Narsing's injury. But here again, what can I do about that? It's just... So... Oh, so annoying. They play one, two balls straight away and they're through. What... What can I do? Here we go again. Win, win, I can't say his name for shit. It's a good save, nonetheless. <coughs> wind, wind regime. And it came back to huge mark, but he gets his shot off and it just trickles wide. But it did finish 3 2. A uh, pretty even game. Both had six shots, four on target. They had more of the possession. But it really just pisses me off with the opposition on Karimo. They just pass it around, pass it around. And I have found out who we have in our Champions League group. And would you believe it? Our first game is Bayern Munich. And our second game is Arsenal. So, you know, the other team in the group is Genk. So, I think the most that we can hope for is probably finishing third and going to um, the European... I can't remember what it's called. But look at this again. What can I do about that? It's just... Oh, I know I'm fielding quite a lot of young players but you know when shit like that happens it really does get on your tits it really does it was a good good ball in nonetheless but he should never have got that opportunity to put that in but straight after that I just went on the attack how's your mark here I think no he doesn't get a save to it he comes rattles off the bar he's an absolute amazing player Wingenham here down to Bacali Bacali has a strike and it's a good save by the keeper and how's your marks Header goes wide. But here they come again. Down the wing. Ball in. Header. Unmarked. Far post. And it's 2-0. And, you know, I'm not going to take any weight, anything away from Furnow. Because they are a good side. But, they were the better team. But 2-0 was a bit harsh, I think. After we hit in the bar. Actually, yeah. 14 tackles. They've had one. <laughs> a good, good ball there through. I don't know who it was to. The blonde guy. And it was a good save. Uh, Bat Stewie here, brilliant bit of play with Wing Jim. Back to Bastui, and it's a good finish. That's what I need from him. But he hasn't really done it for me since buying him. Um, he has the odd moments and he puts them away, but he, I don't know. He's not obviously not world class yet. He could become world class at PSV. 
So that's what I want to see more from him, just getting in the box and cool calm finishes. But yeah, I did make some subs. Uh, took who did I take off? I put Broomer on for De Vry. No, I didn't. I took off Rakic again. I keep getting them two mixed up. Put Winjuladum, Winjuladum, Winjuladum. Nope, I didn't. Fuck sake, why not make my mind up? <laughs> I bought Narsing and Loseda on. Needed the goal and just over the top there from the corner. It could have been our equaliser, but it didn't come. It did finish 2 1. It's our first loss in the series, sadly enough. And our next game is Bay Munich. It's a team that I decided to play, but Stewie the Pay with Carly. Playing the youngster Van Oijen. Giving him a little chance, but I think we played relatively well here, apart from giving away a stupid penalty four minutes into the game. But nonetheless, I was pretty proud with the team. You know, um, it was it was pretty even. I'm not gonna lie. But if we didn't give this penalty away, it could have been a different story. But you know, he just sl slides in the the wet grass. To Puts the momentum through and takes out Ribery, I think it was, and Thomas Muller from the penalty spot. Is he going to miss? Is that a serious question? He's German. Of course he's not going to fucking miss. Puts it away well. And they take go 1-0 up five minutes in. After that, I just thought, oh shit, it's going to be one of them games. As you can see, they brought Suarez. Good strike there, but it's straight at the keeper. And, um, I changed my formation again because I forgot, totally forgot I had one Yama. And the pay breaks through down the wing, but <clears throat> with this formation, I feel much like more of a solid team. Like I don't feel more on the threat of a counter. Look at that strike there; it was a brilliant effort. I think it was the pay again, or Bukali, one of the two. But at half time, as you can see, pretty even there, but only just a bit more of the possession. Um. I took off Bacardi at half time because he was a little bit tired and I had to take off the Rua as he had the sprained ankle. So another injury. Um, Suarez was through there and he just puts it wide. I felt he should have put that away and probably finished the game off, but he didn't. But that's all that happened really. We had chances, but they were half chances and we didn't really take them. And it finished 1 0. But as you can see from the stats, it wasn't so. Dominating. As you can see, Bastui and De Vrij out for three weeks. Can you believe it? That's all we need. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the squad report here. We've not had a bad start. You know, the loss to Fernald ain't going to help us anything. Especially within the, um, the difficult Champions League group. That's going to be a pain in the backside. But as long as you can get that third place, I think I'd be relatively happy with that. Um... I want to see more from uh, Depay and Batshuayi. They're not really doing it for me this season. But anyway, guys, I'll leave the episode there. If you've liked, if you've liked, leave a like. You know how it goes. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.